Hi folks, this is Monty Taylor with Episode 5 of Masterful Prospecting. Let's assume you've already successfully invited a friend or a prospect to take a look at your product or opportunity via one of your company tools, such as a webinar, conference call, or streaming video. Here's a very important strategy. Always plan ahead for your very next step. Now let's think about this for a moment. Once a friend or a prospect reviews or evaluates your product or opportunity, what would you want them to do? What would be ideal? <laughs> All right, I know, beg you for the product or beg you to join your team. But that doesn't usually happen, although sometimes it does. Wouldn't you want them to give you some feedback? Wouldn't it be great if they told you what or how they were feeling about what they saw, heard, or experienced? Wouldn't it be helpful if they had some questions or concerns they wanted you to address, so you could address them? Wouldn't this be an important follow-up conversation to have with your prospect? Of course. So plan the conversation in advance. How do you do that? Master prospectors always create a positive environment for meaningful feedback by setting the stage in advance. This is easy to do, but unfortunately, many networkers miss this step and ultimately end up chasing their prospect for days and even weeks to discover what happened. Now here's a sample conversation that will help you create a positive environment to receive the feedback you want. Sue, I'm really pleased you've agreed to take a look at my income project this evening. I'll send the link to the streaming video in a few minutes. Before I do, could I ask you for a quick favor? Would you be willing to take a few mental notes on the presentation and afterwards share any of your thoughts, ideas, or concerns? Let me be clear, Sue, before you answer. Whatever you decide is absolutely okay with me. I just want to have the opportunity to completely address any questions you may have. Your feedback is very, very important to me. Does that seem fair? And Sue says, yes, I'm good with that. I'll plan on calling you at 7.30 this evening so you can share your thoughts. Does that time work for you? Now, so far so good, but also plan ahead for what happens next. Be prepared to answer any objection, question, or concern, because, believe it or not, that's likely what's coming next. The truth is, after reviewing any presentation, your prospect's feedback is often expressed as an objection, question, or concern. Therefore, it's important that you learn to master the art of effortlessly handling any objection, question, or concern. That way you can be much more confident and effective with all your prospecting conversations. Remember that conversation triangle. Well, now we're at that part in the triangle where you've actually introduced your product or your service or your opportunity. And now, most often, come the objections. Perhaps the biggest challenge for most network marketers, the one that keeps them from actively prospecting, is the fear of what to say and how to respond to people's objections and concerns. Here's the good news. Handling objections, questions, or concerns is the subject of the very next episode 6 and many other of the episodes that are coming. So keep watching. Once again, this is Monty Taylor. And let's keep finding ways to make prospecting easy.